Yo, what's going on, everybody? God bless everyone. Welcome back to the stream, the God Logic Project. This is episode number 15. I think that's where we're at today. Chris, how's it going with you, man? What's up? I'm, I'm doing good today, God Logic. Doing wonderful. <laughs> Hope, hoping we get a couple Muslims on. Maybe yeah. we can get some good arguments. I'm, I'm ready to say that Shahada today. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We, we still have uh, some time. It's uh, we're in October now, and we've been asking for a reason to say our Shahada for the longest. Um, but it hasn't. We haven't had any luck. But it's okay. We have been getting people coming over to the original Quran only Christian uh side and it's just been growing rapidly chris it has been it has been uh, uh many people are now uh saying their shahada and accepting mm -hmm. the quran only christian uh mm -hmm. worldview it's that's a beautiful right thing. A amen to that all right so yeah we, we already have the <laughs> the copyright jokes here copyright strikes are medals of honor <laughs> someone said uh copyright strike god oh you you turn coat. <laughs> Whoops. Hey. No, oh, that's going to be so. What? You. Incredible. Someone said, uh, let's get the show on the road, Avery, or we'll copyright you. Just for that, guys, I have a little clip. This, this is probably going to be the start of our live streams when we, uh, for, for a little while, because this is just a, a, just a beautiful and funny reminder of what's been going on. So, um, here we go. We're starting the live stream and I want to kick it off with this little clip. So yes, they do have truth in their scripture when, when that verse was revealed. Yeah. So That's we what don't I was saying, deny brother. that. I just didn't say anything so why are we saying, oh, there's not truth, there's not truth, this, that, this, that. I, mean, I didn't say, say that. that there wasn't truth. I said, bro, confirming doesn't mean that it's saying this is correct or otherwise. It doesn't mean really what confirm me. It's saying, okay, Someone saying that they have the angel. Okay, great. I confirm that. Yep, it's confirming that. Exactly. So I understand what you're saying. Okay. Now I get it. So what he, so what God Logic is saying, guys, is that the corruption and the distortion and the lies is only by mouth. The actual text is preserved. Okay, great, great. It's God. It's God. It's God. There we go. That's a way to kick off the stream. <laughs> What's up, life? Yeah, what up? Hopefully I'm not late. Wow, you're not late. You're actually on time. Hey. You're actually on time. Yeah. Uh, Issa, 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 Issa Coward. Issa Coward. Issa, Issa, Issa Poo Poo Face. Issa Wan Wan. Issa Baby. Issa Wan Wan. <laughs> You know, you know what happened, God Logic. He didn't get his breast suckling that day, and he had a little upsetness happening. That's what happened. <laughs> see, and that's what's tough. That is what's tough, man. Isa wan wan. There we go. Um, so God bless everyone from joining the stream, please. Uh, everybody that's on Facebook watching, everybody here that's watching on the stream, please give a like to the video so that others can see that we are uh live and so that the algorithm can push us through so we have uh, a little over 70 people in here at this moment so please go ahead and give that like uh give a like share it and do all types of things with it um oh, we already got a super chat from my brother what's up dj Avrin the bully <laughs> Avrin hashtag hashtag <laughs> uh <laughs> Oh, oh, look, look what we have here. Ahmed, imagine being a Trinitarian. Imagine being a Trinitarian, guys. If you were a Trinitarian, oh, oh, yeah. I, I bet you even the even the simplest of Muslims can come up and refute you on any stage at any time. Would you guys think so? You would think so, yes. Mm, it'd I would be, think so. It'd be very easy. I think yeah, I, I would think so too. So this is what we're gonna do. Moderators, here is the link to the stream. Ahmed, here is the link to the stream. You are more than welcome to come on this platform and have a conversation and talk with a Trinitarian and show me just how stupid the Trinity is. Please, there and thank you. Go. Yeah. 
Has Issa Dawa ever been on this channel? Come on, man. No, he he doesn't go on uh, Christian channels. Um, oh wow. He messaged me on mine, and and I told him he'd be more than welcome to come on and have a discussion. And he said he doesn't go on Christian channels, but I'm more than uh, I'm more than welcome to come on his. And I said, all right, I have no problem going on a, a Muslim channel. Like, I'm not a coward. I'll go on a Muslim channel. I was like, uh, but could you bring up a topic uh, that you know about uh, so you don't think that uh, you're being bullied? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, man. man. As soon as he brings up a topic, man, you're going to um, – and refute him is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I should have um, said, can I bring up something? Because if you bring up your own topic – and you get refuted on it, you think you just got bullied. That's what really happened. MashaAllah. We got Pro Life yeah. Chloe in the chat. You be quiet. Pro Life <laughs> Chloe in the chat. She she said 10 seconds. <laughs> What's up with that 10K stream coming up? <laughs> this is crazy that you can mute me. It should not be possible. <laughs> it really shouldn't be possible. I didn't mute um, you, bro. Okay. Yeah, it was probably original. I'm doing um, 10k subscribers coming to a God Logic YouTube channel near you, October 6, 2022. Hey, she called it. We got Tippy Bear in the house. What's going on, everybody? Yeah, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. We are literally, literally under, watch this, under 80 subscribers left to, uh, to make it there, guys. We're almost there. We are almost there at 10K. That's going to be a celebration. I'm so excited. I'm praising God for it, for the journey, for all the support. You guys are amazing. God is amazing. And uh, I just can't wait till we reach that that uh, that benchmark, you know? And, um, and <laughs> you good over there? You know, Allah willed it, man. Allah willed it. Don't Allah cry. willed it. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up our favorite, uh, our favorite Muslim oh, uh, guy Rashad. here. Rashad, <laughs> close. Rashad 2.0. Rashad 2.0. No, it's not Rashad 2.0. This is the one and only Judgment Day Safra. Yes, man. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, my brothers. What's happening? What's going on, man? We just chilling up here, man. Are you are you excited that we're almost at 10k? You can have 20k, you can have 30k. I don't it's all good, man. I just want you to know that you're a part of this, that you help you help the ministry grow, dude. Yeah, I mean (laughs) so I can't. You got to help us out, get the last few up to 10K. You know you can do it, Safraz. Yeah, man. We oh, also... contacts. I'll get some people to subscribe to you. Man. Thank you. We we'll also have a new people. subscriber here today. So uh, God bless you and welcome to the ministry. Uh, we usually do live streams, open discussions every Tuesday. And uh, we are also live with Chris Claus almost every night. <laughs> and then you have Defund the Devil who loves to do his own thing over there as a Kaffir. So, welcome to the ministry. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. The house. Yes, pro-life Chloe, the Arab Kufar. <laughs> Arab Kufar. Arab <laughs> we also got a Amen podcast in the house. If you ever want to come up, bro, you know you're welcome. Don't even have to ask. But yeah, forgive me, guys, if I have the sniffles again. Um, when I was at Santa Monica, when I was live with Chris, uh, you know, over there by the beach, it it messed up my my allergies. So uh, forgive me if I'm sniffling a little bit. So bear with me, okay? <clears throat> but no, Safra, Safra. So what you got for us today, man? What uh? Somebody uh, thought, know, I don't know. You know what it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do a lot of. Uh, I do a lot of. You know, dawah in uh, UK, yeah, with the Christian stuff like that, yeah. Whenever we ask them about the Whenever we get asked about the Trinity, yeah, some some say that 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 we don't believe in it, and some say we do. And those that say they do, they don't have a clue. We we ask them where in the scriptures they say, and they're always confused. They never bring the verses out, and you lot you lot 
Christians are all confused. You Christians are confused. We're asking for evidences about this, about this Trinity. What evidences would you like? Trinity and the day, yeah, that all the Christians say and they're the Father, the Ho and the Son, and the, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But you never hear Jesus use his words that these three are one. He never used his words. The only closest word, the only closest verse was that uh, First John five seven, which has been thrown out. That was the only closest verse that come close to it. The no other verse. And this you know, is what I'm saying You're confused because when I read the scriptures, I read the scriptures the for just yeah. That. Um, there's a there's a Muslim there's a couple of Muslims on YouTube, and yeah. they had this interview uh, with a, a famous biblical scholar uh, named Bart Ehrman. Oh, uh, yeah. and, and in this uh, interview, uh, they asked Bart Ehrman if First John five seven was an addition to the text, and Bart Ehrman said yes, it's an addition to the text. It's found later in like the fifteenth or sixteenth century or thirteenth, yeah. whatever it is, right? And they said, well, then without this being in the New Testament, how did Christians or, or why would Christians believe that uh, uh, in a Trinity? And Bart Ehrman said, now he's not even a Christian, but Bart Ehrman said they do not use one verse to form their theology. They, for, they form their theology from the group of uh, books that they have, which is called the Bible. So going from Genesis to Revelations, it teaches there is but one God. Yeah. This one God yeah. reveals yeah. himself as three distinct persons, i.e. the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. So, and another thing is that you keep saying that, uh, talking about 1 John 5, 7, and saying it was an interpolation. Let's just say, for argument's sake, let's just say it was an interpolation. And it was added in the 13th century. You do realize that the that Polycarp, that uh, Clement of Rome, that uh, Ignatius, the three big ones that learned from the apostles themselves, they believed in the Trinity. Justin Martyr, like we can go all the way down church father history, like through the whole time, all the way back to Jesus, and those people believed in the Trinity. So do you honestly think that that one single verse is what we believe the Trinity for? Or would you assume that we use the whole Bible and derive our theology from that? The thing is, yeah, you look in history, yeah, just after, you know, Jesus died and stuff, yeah, and after Jesus was raised up and the disciples were killed, there were many Christians, that so many Christians didn't believe in it. Some Christians didn't believe in the Trinity or Jesus was divine. See, the Abenites and some other groups, there were other groups, as well, so it was all like split. Yeah, it was all surprise. split. Yeah, but surprise. Yeah. Just to say that there was a split. Now, yeah. I'm not going to say this for an argument's sake, but when Muhammad died, there was yeah. the Riddle Wars, of course, right? Yeah. And that was the war of apostasy. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So there was a change of view because there were people that were worshiping Muhammad at that time, right? They were worshiping, but. Yeah, uh, see, so, so what I'm a, saying, I know, but what, what I'm saying, I know, but what I'm saying here is after somebody dies, sure, there is going to be different views of that person, but that doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, necessitate that what the original ones believed, like the apostles and the ones that they learned from, actually still had the truth. But there's no, there's no uh, disciples that even taught this, even. Paul didn't even preach the Trinity, I don't think. You know, so it's all confusing because when I read the scriptures, when when I read the scriptures, all these are all these are, I'm I'm seeing and 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 I've read these scriptures for years, read for about ten years, and all I'm seeing in them scriptures, yeah, the New Testament is Jesus telling people that there is one God, that Hail Israel, the Lord our God is one, and I'm reading in Luke six twelve where Jesus. Created God, he's worshiping God, hey, and I'm Ross. thinking, how on earth can he be I agree. God? And he's I, I worshiping agree with all these God. Verses, it, it, it does not make can, any sense. Can you agree with me? I'm, in, I'm going to ask you direct questions. You just give me a yes or a no, okay? Does the Bible say that there is only one God? 
Yeah, there's only one God there. Okay, only one okay. God. Yes is the answer. Does the Bob Bible say that the Father is God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does the Bible show and describe Jesus as being God? No, no, no. Okay, so the Bible does not show that? Well, I'm, I've, I've, I've told you. I've told guys, you. Even if, guys, even guys, if you guys, disagree, wait, wait, even if you disagree with the Bible, Safraz, even if you even if you totally reject it, but doesn't matter if it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, all the way through to Paul, does the Bible teach and describe Jesus as God? Nope, nope. Because the reason why the why are you reason being why dishonest, Safraz? Huh? No, no. Let dishonest? me answer. Let me answer. You've answered the question. Let me answer why I don't believe Jesus is God. Because when, when I'm reading a scripture, he, no, 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 let me answer now. That, no, that's no, not let me answer. Question, Safraz. The, Safraz, you know, let me answer. I did, whoa, I didn't ask you if you believed Jesus was God. I said, does the Bible describe Jesus as God? That no, was my question. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, so in Hebrews, when the Father oh. calls the Son God, what no, does that mean? Good, man. You run to Hebrews. Listen, I'm saying you always run to Hebrews. Okay, but when... I said the New Testament. It's in the Bible. No one knows even who's wrote the Hebrews. No one knows who's wrote oh, the Hebrews. So, wait, so, so pause here. Pause here. So notice what just happened, Safraz. Look at this. Man. Notice, notice that Chris is not asking what you believe in your convictions or whatever. Which he's just asking you based on what the text itself teaches. Period. That's it. Okay. Not his I'm opinion, doing... not your opinion. And so uh, he's asking I'm... you. Does Sir, the Bible I, teach I have a that Bible Jesus is God? Yes or no? Baby, I'm just he going to the, no. the Gospels. Right? The Gospels do no, not no, say. No, you didn't say God. the Gospels. He said the brother, Bible. Brothers, brothers, can so I? Can I, 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 I have, hold on, brother. I have, hold on. Sorry. Hold on. So fine. he's talking about the Bible. That's it. Straight. You can't say hold. Oh, the, just I'm gonna hold you to the God. You're talking about the okay, Bible. Okay. Okay. So he okay, asked okay. you. He asked you very simply. Does the Bible show that Jesus is God? Yes or no? The the scriptures where Jesus was on earth does not show Jesus God, but the scriptures that was written after Jesus, such as Hebrews, Paul, whatever, I don't I don't care about them. All these I care about is what Jesus okay, taught I don't, us along. I don't care what you care about. Do they describe Jesus as God? I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not interested in Hebrews. I'm just interested in what Jesus. I don't care what you're interested in. Okay. All right. So this is what okay, we're going to do. Since we have Chris, we have somebody new uh, actually on the on the panel. So, so Frost, hold tight, okay? Because yeah, you know I'm, you're yeah. you're you're, re you're a regular. So we got to give the new guys yeah, yeah, yeah. some some chances, right? Okay. 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 So, so let's go uh, ahead yeah. and give uh, Ahmed, and we have Tippy B, Tippy uh, Tippy Bear on the on the on the panel with us. Welcome. God bless you, sister. Okay. I just wanted to give him that verse that says that these three are one. It's mm -hmm. in Matthew 28, verse 19. What does it say, sis? Um, it says to go and baptize oh, in the name Lord. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's Incredible. one name there. And, that does not show the Trinity. Amen. <laughs> that is one okay. name. It doesn't say not show the okay. Trinity. Okay. So we, have, we have Ahmed on the stage. Ahmed, hey, yo, can, you give us, can you give us the greeting, please? What's good, yo? What's good, man? No, 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 no. no. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I am, but I, we're not supposed to use that for Christians and Jews. I'm sorry. I'm Why just not? Used... Anyways, going to my wait, question. Wait, wait, wait. What does it say that at? Yeah, why Why not? Yeah, because it's not. What does I, it say I, that I want, I want to know. But that doesn't mean I disrespect you, you know? It's still, I, I, I yeah, have... If you, if, you, if, you, if you walk you into somebody's house and problem? you don't greet them with peace and blessings, that's disrespectful. Wow. No, I said hi. How's how's everyone doing? What's up? But uh, yeah, I, I want I want the I peace, want peace and blessings. Man. I want Fine. some peace, man. Fine. Give me some peace. Okay, okay. Can I get? I, I'm not even gonna stay around for that long, so you don't have to be mad about it. Uh, yeah, but that hurts my feelings. I, I, at least tell me. At least tell me why you can't give me. You wish on me peace and blessings. Why can't Why can't you as a Muslim? Are Are you really gonna like? <laughs> are you gonna like stop me from asking my question before? Like, no, okay. you can ask, look. The the quicker you answer this, the quicker you, we can get to your question, bro. I'm not, bro. Look, just let me ask my question. I, I just I'm li I'm literally giving it to you. As soon as you answer this for me, I pro I won't even press you on it. Just okay. give me an answer, a real answer, and then we can move on to your question. It's not because I hate you. It's just I can't. I can't like. Why, I know the question is why can't you? Why can't you wish on me peace and blessings, bro, bro? 
just chill out, bro. It's not even that just serious. Just tell us why, bro. We, we're even, not going to be uh, mad. Just tell us why. You really Isn't Islam mean? the religion of peace? Okay, I told y'all already I can't do it because, you know. Bro, it doesn't mean that I don't wish you good, man. I wish No you... one's asking you that, bro. We're asking you to substantiate why you can't do it, and then we'll move on. Just prove serious? it. Prove that this is part of your religion. All right, but 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 hold on, but hold on. Like, is that, why does it matter to you? It matters because to me we... because you claim to have the religion of peace and truth, and that Islam yeah. is for everyone and is peaceful. And yet you're telling me that as a Muslim, you cannot wish peace and blessings upon me simply because I'm a Christian. I want to know why. Bro, bro it's, uh, what I meant is I can't say salamu alaikum, you know, like that's... Bad. What does that okay, mean? Trans trans peace wait, translate that to me. Bro, bro, just relax, man. Relax, bro. I'm like, trying to learn. Big, what does what does salamu alaikum mean? Look, man, you're a big Christian YouTuber. Everyone looks up to you. If you're gonna I'm not a big... I don't even have 10,000 yet. I mean, I'm bro, big. If, you, if, you, if you're crying about... <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. No offense, but like, if you're crying about peace and blessings, then I, I don't know, man. What are, what are your viewers looking up to, man? I, they gonna... I mean, they, they're not look, they look up to Jesus, not me. So thank God for that. But you All know, right, unfortunately, cool. and Jesus unfortunately, didn't tell you to I, I mean, cry. About, I mean, let me say, let me say this, bro. Let me say this. Unfortunately, I wear my feelings on my on a sleeve. You know, like it's it's right here on my sleeve, and so, like, yeah. it, it, I'm easily emotionally damaged. You know, yeah. You didn't see so, his apology to Issa Dawa? Fine. Okay, I apologize <laughs> for not it. saying peace and blessings. Whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm you sorry, know what? I'll sir. take that. I'll take that. He said let me, sorry. Let for me being... say something really. Yeah, that, that's all right. I'm, I'm, here's the thing. I'm we're, in, taught, I'm we're in, taught to apologize. Uh, really we're quick. Taught yeah, you're taught to apologize, but then you're also saying you're taught not to greet us with the uh, peace and blessings, right? So here, here's the thing. We're not saying, hey, if you don't do this, we're going to be mad at you, right? It's not about that. It's, hey, listen. Look, I know you want to attack you're my coming religion up here. It. It, I know you want to attack, bro, bro. Bro, look, look, I know you want to attack Islam. Uh, listen, bro. listen, bro, if you look, were having look, a conversation, look, let's just be honest. If you were having a conversation with a Muslim, right, you guys would happily discuss why you guys can't give certain peace and blessings to non-believers. But when a non-believer asks you a simple question, all we're asking you is to tell us why. That's it. We're not going to say, oh, well, well, that, that needs to change or that needs to be this. No, sometimes you guys, you Muslims need to understand if you're going to come up here and justify your religion, you're going to need to substantiate that. So we're asking you why. I wasn't even uh, going to wasn't even gonna argue. I was. I just, but, I just had a question for you. Guys. But there is no wow. argument, though, wow. because you're not Bro, actually I only elaborating. Had a I only had a biblical question. I, I, I understand only... you want to just get off your question, but when you came on stage, we asked you for a simple piece of blessings, and you told us that you would not give that to us. Why? Because you can't. But you haven't been able to prove look, why look, you can't. Look, you're, just ask, you're just telling us it doesn't matter. It does matter. We do, we want to know why. Let us know so we won't continue to ask Muslims why they can't greet us with peace and blessings. Show us where where you're not able to do that. Hold read on, us some on. scriptures. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Who told you that we can't take Christians as friends, bro? Who who told you that? The okay, Quran. So you're uh, totally ignoring what I'm saying. All right. The Quran. The Quran says that. Bro, chapter five, verse fifty-one. That's a whole different story, man. That's a whole different story. We mean it's a whole different story. It says, Look, do not. Oh, you who believe, do not take the Jews and Christians for friends, for they are friends of each other. And if you take us as friends, you are one of them. Mm. You're one of us mm. if you do that. Do you have any Jews or Christians as friends? Just ask a question real quick, man. It's just about the Bible. It's about what you consider to be the word of God. Like You don't want to, you don't want to, it's what, it's what the Quran considers to be the word of God. What's your question? Bro, no, wow. Okay, you, you, bro, you just said that. I did, yeah. Okay, fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just ask my question because, bro, for real, like you need to get your facts straight, man. I'm sorry. Anyways, wait, I'm not. Gonna wait, wait, was I wrong facts. in saying that the Quran uh, considers my Bible to be the word of God? Was I wrong, bro? It considers the Injil, which you don't have today, to be the where word is of God. it? Uh, well, I don't know. You tell me, man. <laughs> you're, 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 you don't the know. They they don't know. They've never hey, seen hey. it. But all of a sudden, we don't we don't have it though. Okay. Right. I, I believe I believe in the original oh Quran God. as well, not the Quran you have. Anyways, anyways, uh, it, when you find the Gospel of Jesus, show it to me. When anyways, you when you find uh, the Quran of it. Muhammad, show it to me. We show it to Can me. I just we, we read from it all the time, bro. It's the <laughs> Bible. Just it really quick. <laughs> bro, um, bro, you guys, you the, guys, the for the real. That you're looking for, you use the, the weakest arguments. Oh, 
That's so horrible. That Her argument for... is literally the weakest argument ever, dude. Are you are you oh, are you serious? Man. Listen to yourself. Let me let me oh, ask you a bro. question. No, no, why listen don't to you yourself. Let me ask yourself. you a question. Wait, hold on. You're <laughs> saying you bring the Quran. You're saying you're saying Ahmad, Ahmad, let me ask you a question. So your hold Quran, on. no, no, no. Your Quran is not the original Quran. You know that, right? Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh. the hadith he was looking for was Al Ad Adab Al Al Mufrad, uh, one one zero three. Abu Harrah reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, "Do not give the people of the book." So we are the people of the book. So I don't know why he's saying we don't have one. Uh, the greeting first, force them into the narrowest part of the road. Yes, man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, call so, the people so of the book. We don't have a book. Yeah, that's all he, you all he had to do curse, was read it. You want to curse out? That's why you cursed all out. All he had to do was read it. That, that's all we wanted. Just show us where yeah, like, he came from. Safraz, Safraz, why didn't you just step up and be like, man, we don't salam them because they're not Muslim. That's what our Quran says. Without seeing it. That's he's what back, he's, back, he's, he's back. He's back. He's back. Welcome back. I'm here. sorry. I'm, I'm, on my, I'm on my phone. So, like, you know, like the iPhone, like when you swipe at the... Yeah. Like at the left, it kind of like it goes We've out. Many times. If you if you yeah, need so. me to pull up anything for you, I'm I'm here for you, man. I'm no, bro, you know I'm that's good. why I'm, I'm usually the mom that. here. Pull up that original bro. Quran, Avery. I didn't like. Oh, no, he has to he has to show it to me. <laughs> I didn't want to come up here to like uh, disrespect you guys or show you, like offend you guys. Or I just no, we're, not, we're not offended, bro. We look. Listen, 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 listen. I'm sorry. Look, we're very lighthearted, bro. We love to have fun up here. Let, let, ask Safraz. Safraz is a regular Muslim that comes on the stream all the time. We have fun. We joke. We 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 you know debate each other. It's it's fun. So like don't okay. don't don't take don't be so serious up here, man. It's all good. Nah, it's all good. bro. It's cool. It's good, bro. Look, look, man. I'm I'm chill about it, bro. Don't 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 cool. worry about it, man. Joke all you want, but like, bro. Don't feel offended because I I never intended to like get, get you guys offended. No, I, I apologize. No one's offended at all. No, no one's offended as long as as long as the Quran continues to acknowledge that I have the Word of God with me. I'm happy. Oh God, man! You see, bro. Oh, I, I would. I would this, bro, what was I, your I, question? Okay, fine. You know what? Let me just let, let, let my first interaction with God logic be a bit friendly. Okay, we. I, yeah. I, I, and in future discussions, I'm gonna, I may get, be able to get into the whole Quran admits Bible is the word of God uh, is thing more, okay? Which mm -hmm. has already been refuted, by the way. If you just by who? Just, okay, but anyways, uh, let's keep it friendly. Let's keep it chill. You know, I just mm -hmm. want to have a friendly discussion with God Logic, and I only want to talk to God Logic here, okay? That's fair. Yeah. Everybody, okay. all the rest of the Kafirs on the stage, stay out of this. All right, cool. All uh, right. So yeah, bro, God Logic. Could you please yeah. look? And I, I'm, this may be something that you've already dealt with. I, I understand if it's something that you've already dealt with and it's like old. And you may, you may laugh. You can feel free to laugh. But could you please tell me how mm -hmm. you would explain John seventeen three? Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. What's uh? What what do you understand from John seventeen three? I understand <laughs> that Jesus admits that the Father is the only true God and that He was only sent as a messenger of God. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and read John 17, 3. Let's do it together. And let's see how uh, Jesus talks about himself. First, let's 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 establish something. Um, who gives eternal life? Of course, it's God. All right, beautiful. Who has all authority over everything, God. all creation? God. Excellent. God. All right. Okay, so the giver of eternal life is God. The one who has all authority over all creation is God. And... Having eternal life is through God. All right, beautiful. So let's actually start at verse one. Is that okay? Uh, fine, I guess. Okay, cool. Because it's important when we read the Bible, bro, that we read through context. <laughs> right? Cool, go ahead. Okay, let me, uh, let me share my screen. And then, um, hold on, let me open up a new one. And share my screen so we can get this Bible open. John 17, verse 3. Yeah. Make sure to choose the Bible you want to read wisely because like, there's like, what, 100 more? <laughs> I, I, I choose the one correctly. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. okay. What the heck? But I mean, bro, like, don't don't think this is like uh, being trying to offend you and stuff. But like when you come at the Quran, bro, mm -hmm. just. Okay, I'm going to listen to your answer. 
Yo, what are you going to say when I come at the Quran? What? What would you like? Well, just take a look at your Bible first, bro. You have, you have like a hundred Bibles. That's my favorite Bibles. video right there. Look at that. <laughs> That's the best video yet. Amen. Fine. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You know, we can't we can't come and criticize the Quran if we have w without looking at our own Bible. You know, what I'm saying we can't be throwing rocks out of, outside of a glass house. Would you agree? Bro, yo, I mean, sure. I do. Yeah. That's that's how we feel. What Muslims do, we feel like Muslims literally throw stones outside of a glass house. Like their nope. accusation, like none of your accusations, uh, or I'm sorry, none of your uh, objections. <clears throat> can stand if they were reversed but the oh, more you come on the stream bro the more you'll see that hopefully hey, God, yeah, cool, cool. Well, whatever, start reading. let's just get on with this can show. i address can i address the uh, audience just before you start reading sure excellent uh, hey everybody in the audience we have 230 people watching i do not see over 200 likes right now if you are watching and you have not hit that like button you better do it now or you secretly kiss a black stone Okay, keep going, guys. Wow. Yeah, okay, we're, yeah, we're not we're gonna we're yeah. not gonna continue until the likes match the views because this is that's ridiculous. How do we not have over two hundred? Over two hundred. How many do you likes? have? Come on, man. Are you not gonna explain it to to someone? Yeah, be, who needs hey, be patient. To the Bible? Be patient. Look, ask for the Holy Spirit to give you patience, and He'll give it to you. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. He'll give it to you. I'm good. Oh, hey, you're not good hey, yet. Hey, What's hey, up, hey, Safran? If if you was a Muslim, yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Would have had about fifty thousand subs, fifty thousand subs easy. I agree, but you as a Christian, yeah, you talk uh -huh. all this, all this, you know, this rubbish you lot be going through all every week, yeah, about the Trinity, this and that. No one yeah. cares, except Islam, and you will grow, you will grow, but, bro. But doesn't like, doesn't this, the, the gate is doesn't, wide. <laughs> the gate doesn't is this wide, prove guys. To, <laughs> doesn't this prove Shit. to you that I'm not in it for the for the numbers or the fame? Look at Sheikh. No. Uthu, Uthu, Sheikh Bro, Uthu, you're literally, you've literally stopped the stream just because you want to get likes, man. Come on, for real. It, absolutely. We got to all participate. I'm doing my part. They yeah, got to do theirs. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you yeah. You feel me? Yep. It's Where not we like, at hey, now, guys, Chris? just do your part quickly. Hey, so we're, we I, I see on. we're at uh, about 180. About 180. 180? No. Until, guys, <laughs> there, there's 244 yeah, people so in here. here bro, there should be at least 240 people, and then we're going to go ahead and continue. As I as I uh, hey, break down the verse to the brother, if that, we that, have two hundred and forty people in here and there's one hundred and eighty likes, then we better have sixty dislikes. It's got to even <laughs> yeah, out right. somewhere, right? It's got to even yeah, out right. somewhere. Somebody's not doing something, right? I, Absolutely. Holy What's going on, guys? I need y'all's help here. Where's the Holy Ghost? Where is you, where, we're at one eighty nine, guys. Come on, ten more, eleven come more. On. Give God logic his likes, man. Come on, bro. He needs. Mm -hmm. This is Safraz as well. Saf this Reggie is Safraz's three. channel too. Safraz Reggie is helping three. the channel grow. Yeah, man. Keep it going. Scott Hughes. Scott Nobody Hughes, long, long time, man. This is how you can be a secret grow, stone kisser. You grow kisser. because Muslims give you attention, bro. Because if you were to preach the Trinity, bro. I'm sorry, man. But like, oh, no, there we go, God so Logic. 201, 200? brother. 201. 201, yeah. all right. Let's continue. All right. <clears throat> Verse number one. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. Okay. So Jesus is requesting that the father glorifies him just mm -hmm. as the same way that Jesus has glorified God. My first mm -hmm. question to you, can any prophet hold or on, any hold on. preacher... Demand. I'm asking the question to you so we understand verse one. Well, I didn't get some. I kind of confused on one point. If you don't mind, uh, it your... said, uh, uh, "Glorify your son. Uh, glorify your son that the son may glorify you." Mm -hmm. Doesn't that mean glorify your son so that your son can glorify you? Doesn't it? Doesn't it imply that meaning? So th it's exactly what it says. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. So it's so it's, it's, the, it's the same glory that's given both ways. So it's not that the son already glorified God. He's requesting glory so that he could also glorify no, the God. No, it's it's a completion of it. It's a it's a completion of it. When this when the father glorifies the son, the son also glorifies the father. It's a mutual, it's a mutual thing, simultaneous. So 
Fine. Can That's can it. any prophet request glory from God the same way that they give glory to God? Hold on. Well, not really. No. God, I agree. God. I agree, bro. So yeah. Jesus, Jesus is making a request, a, a statement, or a, a, you know, a claim here that no creature can ever ask for. No creature can ever make. So we already see in verse one that Jesus sees himself above creation, that he can ask the Father to glorify him the same way that he glorifies the Father. Oh, All right. God. No, verse two. Real, man. Yeah, yeah, You're we got we got we got to break down. We got to break down how how okay, Jesus talks right, about bro. himself. I'm we listening, gotta... bro. I'm listening. All right, good, I'm good, listening. good. Verse two. Now, watch this. Right, Since cool. you have given him. Uh, authority over all flesh to give them eternal life to all whom you have given him. So right. what did we just see Jesus say? He says that he has all authority, right? And he gives eternal life. Okay. Fine. Now, remember, what, remember what we said, that only God can give eternal life and only God can have all authority. Is that all correct? Right. Okay, go ahead. So Jesus is just is telling you through this prayer that he, along with the Father, is God. That he shares the same divine essence as God. He Hold has on, the same uh, glory. He has the same eternal uh, uh, life-giving ability. And he has all authority. All right, cool. But then I have a question here. To give eternal life to all whom you have given him. Mm-hmm. Explain what that means. Absolutely. Uh, no, 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 yeah, I got you. So, yeah, so, so, um, earlier in the in the in in the book of John, Jesus describes how that how no one comes to him except who the Father reveals him to. So it's the Father that draws men to Jesus. All right. The Father draws men to Jesus. Those are the ones who the Father has given him. And All Jesus right. gives those who the Father brings to him eternal life. All Makes right. sense? Okay. okay. So first, let me give a shout out to um, the people who are given the gifts. Thank you, Jay Mack. Here comes the hurt, <laughs> the truth. And then we have uh, Dominique, who has given us such a generous gift. God bless you. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. It really means the world to me. You have no idea. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I got to say, you. man, I got to say, you have some loyal followers there. Wow. They wow. love the Lord, man. They love the Lord mm -hmm. and they love the kingdom. So whatever supports the kingdom, they'll, yeah. they'll you know, they stay they pushing. Kingdom. What Amen. kingdom? The kingdom of God. So, you, so your channel is the kingdom of God? It, it helps with the kingdom of God. I, I am a worker <laughs> in the kingdom. We proclaim. Absolutely. Oh my God. Okay. Just, just I'm, I'm trying to invite you to the kingdom as well. I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to invite you to the truth, bro. There's many rooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Okay. So, so far, so far already, we have seen Jesus describe himself to have the same attributes as God. Do we agree here so far, Ahmed? Well, I mean, that's how you explained it. I guess. Well, that, I mean, this is what we agreed to because remember, we said only God gives eternal life. We said only yeah. God has authority. And then we see that no creature can ask for the glory that he gives God. Like, it, it, no creature can do that. We both agreed on this on this stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, that's how the Bible does it, you know? That's right. Oh, okay, okay. yeah, no problem. So just just going with, the, with what the Bible says here, so far, yeah. in verse mm -hmm. 1 and 2, it describes Jesus as God with the Father, doesn't it? Uh, the Bible does that, okay. Amen. All right. I appreciate I appreciate that honesty, bro. Okay, now let's get to verse three. So after reading verse one and two, now we're getting to verse three. Now watch this. <clears throat> and this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Paul's here now. And this is Paul. eternal life, Paul. that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. So this is where the issue comes when Muslims read this verse because they take out verse 1 and verse 2 and they isolate verse 3. <coughs> we already saw that in verse 1 and verse 2, Jesus describes himself as God, period. Same attributes, same nature as the Father. 
Now we're at verse three. Notice how since we are Trinitarians and but, but the bro, Bible is clearly. I, can I make right? this point real quick? Uh, did, you want, not, did you want a explanation or what? Uh, well, I just had this one thing that, okay, fine. You know what? I'm okay. I'm gonna wait. Okay. That's fine. You know, if, if you want to go ahead, man, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for no, my explanation. Bro, you, you're doing the explanation. You're doing it. I'm, I'm, I can't cut you off. Sure. Go ahead. That, okay. For sure. So the Bible with the Trinitarian concept, we have no issue with Jesus identifying the Father as the true God. Because uh -huh. as Trinitarians, the Bible teaches that the true God is multipersonal, is the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. All three persons are the true God. The Father is multiple so, people? God in his essence is multipersonal. The father, but the, son, but the verse says, spirit. but the verse says the only true God. Yeah, the only. Yeah, the only true God is multipersonal. So identifying the father as the only true God, amen. No, no. And no, identifying no, no. the son as the only true God, amen, as well. Because the only true God is multipersonal. You see, you see, bro, God logic. This is where I would stop you, man. He's he's actually referring to the father here, you know. Um, yeah. Avery, could you so, just bring up First John five twenty because we're yeah, gonna see I, that. I was I was gonna I was gonna get there. I was I'm working I'm working all the way to it, guys. Trust me, I'm working all the way to it. So, <clears throat> is your issue the fact that the Father is being called the True God? Yeah, no, I mean, well, it's not an issue. It's the truth, you know. He's he's okay, calling. No the problem. Father. No problem. So, what if I were to show you that Jesus is also called the True God? Where would that then make make sense with my point? Well, then that's just a contradiction, bro. No, it's not is a it contradiction. Possible? It's it's called wait, wait, the Trinity. Hold on, hold on, wait. You said the the bro, 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 bro. Jesus calls the Father the only true God. And then Jesus is called the only true God. Which one is it? Which one? Uh, is I just it? told you. Well, so what? Which what one is I, it? I need Which you. I need you. I need you to God? listen carefully. I need nah, you to listen carefully. Bro. I need God's you to listen God carefully. Caught on 4K. Wow. No, 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 Ahmed. I need you to listen carefully. We believe as Christians and what the Bible teaches uh -huh. that the true God is multi-personal so the I know father that. is the true god the son is the true god and the okay. holy spirit is the true god now i'm about but to show you the this. only true god I'm about man. To, there's only there's only one true god there's Maybe. not there's not multiple true confusion gods. bro bro avery avery, avery ma'am avery avery, avery avery why are you interrupting bro. me can i please make a point here no uh, you're interrupting this... me you're literally interrupting me you ask a question and i'm answering you fine go ahead i'm sorry okay so first of all, uh, th thanks, uh, Albi, for your uh, contribution, brother. He says, and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. God bless you, brother. <laughs> Appreciate you. <clears throat> that's what so we're now, taught in Islam, too. You're supposed to give zakat, you know. That's what, what, that's what happens in Islam. So let, let's go ahead and, and go to where Jesus is called the true God. Could and you, just could you break it down to you that the, the true God, uh, that the true God is multipersonal. <clears throat> could you please remove the thing? I can't see the text. If you could, or just move the text up. Yeah, that's that's good. Thank you, bro. You could left the, you could left that up there. You could could have just got the text and scrolled up a bit. All right. Well, I'm Amy, the argument is the argument is what these Hamza are coming out with. Yeah, the Hamza are only not coming out with is yeah. They're saying why didn't why didn't Jesus say we are the only true God? Didn't why have to. Didn't say, Eh? Why, 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 why do you guys have to try to dictate what Jesus said? When, but he, but he so, said you are the only one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this I, is I the silliest thing. thing. This is I the silliest that. thing because if, we just had the admission from if, Ahmed that if, Jesus if, described himself as God if, in if, verse one and verse two. Avery, we Avery, already have that admission. Avery, Avery, Avery. So, I do. I, I, I do no, remember. You're cutting me off. You're cutting me off. You got to be patient. You got to be patient. We already had that admission, Safraz, and you heard that admission, did you not? I heard. Wait, I heard Wait, Jesus saying, "No, no, Give Safraz, me. I asked Give you something me. very specific. What's so? What is so hard about answering specific you, questions? You, you, okay, you're okay, wait, question. Wait, what was the question again? Safraz, did I not? Did, did you hear the admission from Ahmed that Jesus okay. described himself as God in verse no, one and two? I, I, that's, that's what the Bible describes uh, Jesus. Exactly. Bro. So, Safraz, did you just hear? No, bro. Please, please, bro. But let's hold your mic. 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 Cool. Safraz, did you just hear that? Well, yeah, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard him, I heard him saying <laughs> that the that is 
that is talking about that. But yeah, we Thank have you. to no, no, no. Every, yeah. that's, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. No, no, no Avery. So, Avery, come so, on, man. You're running away from so, verses, Safraz, man. Safraz, you guys don't dictate how Jesus talks. Jesus how the Bible talks, talks, and then we Jesus. understand what he says. And so okay. Jesus already described himself to be God. Equal no, in no. essence with the Father. That's the Bible's God. description, man. That, bro, it's bro, simple. Please. Don't generalize. That's the Bible's description. Avery. Is, who, who, all right. Who, 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 in the Bible, who's talking here, uh, Ahmed? Uh, well, certainly not Jesus. That's not what I believe. Oh, not, but do, you, do you believe that Jesus is talking in verse 3? Bro, I'm just using it against you, man. Like, Do I, you believe it's not that Jesus is talking in verse look, 3? Look, 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 bro. It's not necessary that I believe it was Jesus who spoke. Okay, I, like, I agree. So why do you keep saying the Bible says it, not Jesus? I agree. Well, it's not necessarily, bro. Here's the thing. It's not necessarily Jesus, you know? Okay, Anyways, look, but, but you're making, do you understand? You're making a moot point right now. According to the context, Jesus is talking. You don't believe Jesus is saying this. No problem. No, we're just bro, talk, no, but we're talking just, about what Jesus says in the Bible. You're just right. You're just playing around with my words. But anyways, bro, can we move on? Yeah, bro? I like, bet. Just, just when, whenever, on. whenever you guys get caught up, it turns into oh, you just, you just. Oh yeah, that, but when I caught you saying that Jesus is described as the only true God, and then here in this verse, the Father is described as the only true God, you ran away. You're not giving me time. To I'm running away. Beautiful. Okay. Yep. Um, verse sure, twenty. Sure. Read, read, read this. Read this verse for me. Okay. Fine. And. Well, what does that say? Okay. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true. Okay. And his, in his Son, Jesus Christ, he is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Okay, so who fine. is the true God and eternal life? According to the Bible, that's Jesus. According to Beautiful. the Bible. Beautiful. Son of God. Awesome. And also the true God, according to John 17, 3, is who? The Father. Excellent. So the bro, Father bro. is identified as the true God. No, no, the no, Son no. is identified as the true God. And no, then no, elsewhere, no. we have the Holy Spirit, who is also identified okay. as the true okay. God. Okay, bro, bro, Avery. Avery. So yeah, wait, pay attention. Stop. Stop jumping and just listen to the explanation before you try to come up with an objection. I, I'm trying to answer a question, by the way. No, I don't. I didn't ask a question. I didn't ask a question yet. Just listen. Okay, fine. Just go listen. On. Just, just listen. It's okay. Just listen. Oh God. Thank, thank you for bringing this up. Right, go ahead. But I, and, okay. and thank you for being honest for what the text says. Okay, so okay, okay. Jesus is the true God. The okay. Father is the true God. You read Samuel. The Holy Spirit is the true God. You have three distinct persons who are identified as the true God. What's okay. the conclusion? That the true God oh, is God. triune. Okay, fine. Yeah, are you done? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, I, I, I heard. I right, repeat before. it back to me so I understand what you just so, so I know that you. Okay, okay, yeah, you. okay, fine. You said in Samuel's the Holy Spirit is described as God, and then so the God is triune. Okay, fine. Look, look. I understand what you're, your your point, bro. I understand. Okay, so can I speak now? Can I make my point now? Absolutely. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. But then, look, in this verse, it describes Jesus as God. According to the Bible, that's what you're saying. Okay, uh, That's how he explained no, what it. What you read. No, but, no, what I'm saying, that's what you read. Okay, you admit okay, it, not me. Fine, fine. fine. Just listen, bro. Right, Just listen. But then in John 17, 3, you need to pay attention, man. It says mm. the only true God. Yeah. The only true God. Do, do yeah. you get what that means? The only true God. Yeah, absolutely. Amy. Only. Please, yeah. stay out of it. Stay out of it. So they, they may know you, the true God, only, the only true God. Hmm. Now, so, how many, true, how many true gods are there? So, the Bible how many, how many true gods are there? What? How many true gods are there? According to John seventeen three, it's the Father. No, no. How many true? How many true gods are there? One. Excellent. So if multiple persons are identified as the true God, bro, bro, that bro, means bro, that bro, the bro, true bro. God I get you. I get you. Is, is I get you. Wait, why are you cutting me off in the middle of because me talking? I understand what you're saying. You're trying to turn then it around. Wait for man. It, then wait for it. Then wait for it and stop I trying get, to come up with an objection as soon as I'm talking. You're, you're, what you're doing is, bro, you're showing your insincerity, which is okay. It's fine. But it, okay. it, it's awesome for, for the All stream. Right. Okay. So sure. if there's if there's one true God, and three persons are identified as that true God. What does that mean? Bro, uh, okay, fine. According to you. It's according trying, to the Bible. But, okay, bro, no, no. That's according to you, man. Because you're not getting my point. Uh, no, I, I do I get, get your you. point. This is this is why I'm breaking your bro. point down. 
Okay, bro, bro. No, 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 no. Look, I, I you didn't answer the question. To, if there's Christians, one true like, God, bro, the, the Christians that are if watching, there's this, one please. true God, you, Ahmed, you didn't answer the question. If there's one true God and three persons are identified as the one true God, Look, what does that mean about the true Avery, God? Avery, John 17 3 describes the Father as the only answer the question. God. You, bro, what are you talking about? I, how I many true? The, so, answer the question then. If you if you understand the question, answer it. There is only one true God, and I understand you're saying in more than one place these three characters are being described described as God. And so, so what does that mean about the your, true God? Your your conclusion is it's the triune God. That's your conclusion, man. No, no, no. what does no? Don't that's not my conclusion. I'm asking no, you to is, follow the logical conclusion. If the logical three conclusion persons are identified the as the true God, true God, what does that mean God. about the true God? The the Father is the only true God. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not gonna agree with you on this one. You know, no, no, you can you can stay as stubborn as you want, but this is no. this is what we just this is this is what we uh what we figured out. What's up, Mac J? Your device is not connected, bro. You probably gotta okay. gotta Could fix you... it. Okay, so this brother, is what we please, please mute up for a second. Please mute up for a second. Thank you, Chloe, for the gift. And someone else also gave a gift earlier that I saw, but missed. It said, uh, since since donations hurts Abdul's. That's what he said. <laughs> well, Chloe said, welcome to the wonderful world of the Holy Trinity. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, God bless you, Chloe. Um, right. so this is where this is where we had in this conversation, guys. So we are I... at the point where Ahmed he ident he acknowledged that Jesus identified himself as being Not God Jesus in verse Bible. one and two, and then no. he identified that first John 5 20 identifies Jesus also as the true God, and so by claiming that Jesus is the true God, the Father is the true God. And the Holy Spirit is also identified as the oh, true man, God. Bro. What does that mean about God? God? Okay, okay, Avery, brother. Bro, Avery, 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 bro. Avery, Avery, bro. Like, with all due respect, I don't think you can understand my point, okay? But I would love it if you could just give me just a few minutes so I can make myself clear on this thing, okay? Could I Could I have just a few minutes? Just, just, just a few minutes uninterrupted to just say what I have to say. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know you Christians are kind, and I appreciate that, okay? Thank you. All right. What I'm saying is, I know what you're saying, bro. You 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 brought up this verse trying to tell me that the Bible describes Jesus as being the, the true God. But look, look, just listen to this. The true God. Okay, fine. That's what you're saying. It, okay, fine. And then in verses 1 and 2, Jesus gives himself divine attributes, as you said. Fine. That's what the Bible says, though. That's a whole different discussion. But then look, if you go to verse 3, and okay, fine, with the Samuels thing, with the Holy Spirit thing, fine. But, but look, listen, bro, listen. Verse 3 says, like, listen to this. You're saying Jesus is described as the true God, but John 17, 3 describes the Father, not God, the Father, as the only true God. The only true God. I don't know, man. Like, can you get any, any clearer than this? Jesus is, okay, fine. Jesus, according to the Bible, is the true God. The Holy Spirit is the true God. I can concede that. But then the Father is the only true God. So what do you have to say about this, Avery? Jesus says the Father and I are one. No, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't solve your problem. We're, we're going uh, to stick, with, that, we're gonna stick with, with his uh, his line of reasoning. Yeah, exactly. What, just... what, what, what I like to do is I love to show how your the Muslim reasoning is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so so he at look, look where we're at, guys. You're gonna have he to acknowledge the Bible is ridiculous acknowledge, man, because I, that's I mean, like from the Bible. Did I I'm let you speak, Ahmed? Mean? Bible, man. Did I let you speak? Just... Did I let you speak? Yes, you did. Sorry. All right, so show the same respect. Mute up, please. Fine. Okay. So what Ahmed has done, ladies and gentlemen, Chris, Tippy, who are all the, that's listening. He acknowledged that the Bible calls Jesus the true God. He acknowledges and doesn't refute doesn't uh, re uh, refute that the Holy Spirit is also identified as the true God. I only conceded that. I clearly said he conceded I, I said, all I of these. Things. I, I don't need you interrupting. I don't need you I interrupting. Only conceded to it. I don't I need you interrupting. No, I don't no, need you, you interrupting. You're putting words into my mouth. Bro. I don't That's need you nice. interrupting. Mute your mic. Show the oh, same okay. respect that I'm giving you. You put words into my mouth. You put words into my mouth. I don't want to have to mute you, dude. So he concedes that Jesus describes himself even as the true God, 
The Bible says that Jesus is the true God and elsewhere says that the Holy Spirit is God. Now his issue here is trying to say, well, the father is identified as the only true God. Here's my question to you, Ahmed, and be very simple with this. What is the difference between true God and only true God? When you already said that there's only one true God. But the, uh, the, the difference is that one is like has been is like one of them. A distinction has been made. You know, the only means like on, one none other than, you know, like no one can. You, what, what, like, can you're not answering the question. What is the I did. difference? I did. I did. I'm just saying that true, there's between there's, true there's, God and only true God. Bro, look, listen to me. Look, I understand what you're going at, but just like, answer then. Saying, if you understand where I'm going, keep quit saying that and just answer if you know where I'm going. Answer the question. Look, look, look I know what you're, what you're where you're trying to take this, man. You're trying to you're trying to say that saying the true God and the only true God is not different. It is. It so is. So tell bro. me, what's the difference, <laughs> bro? Do you not get it? The only true God. Like, what the hell, man? Bro, I, I still what's not get it. What's the difference? Hey, God logic. Bro. Can I have just two seconds here? Sure. I'm gonna keep it on topic, though. All I've been hearing is emotional damage. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come hold on, on. Man. you don't kick me off, man. Hold on. Sorry, hold, hold on, guy. Hey, uh, Chris, can you hold him to this question, please? Well, I got to do something real quick. Oh yeah, for sure. So Ahmed, is Ahmed even here? I don't think Ahmed's even here. So the problem here with Ahmed is that what Ahmed is doing is he's actually assuming Unitarianism. And this is the problem with Muslims when it comes to when it says God, the only God type thing, they they think it's referring to simply just the father. Uh, but that's not the case. The only true God and the true God are the same thing. They are not different, as Ahmed was trying to say. Um, if Ahmed was up here, we would explain why to him. But uh, yeah, it, I think that's funny, too, James. He, he come up here and he actually said that Christians were nice. And and we are. God logic was really nice. He was giving uh, Ahmed, some time to speak, of course. But Ahmed, I, I don't even think God Logic could get like six seconds out of his mouth, and then uh, Ahmed had to jump in. But hey, we, we won't hold him to that anyway. Uh, but I think that that was a very good point that we all need to kick in on: is that when we go to when they go to John seventeen three, uh, we just need to show them the context of John seventeen three. We just need to go to where Jesus ident is identified as the true God. And then show them that the Holy Spirit is identified as the true God. Now, does anybody else want to say anything on this? Well, Avery's not here. I don't think we have Ahmed up here right now. Yeah, I'd like the Bible verse that says that the Holy Spirit is the only true God. The thing is, why is Jesus asking God to, the, the Father to give him the glory? If Jesus was God, why is he asking the Father to give me it for it? That, that, that does not... Make them equal. That does not make them equal, that means. No, no. See, you just, this This is the problem, Safraz, is that when Muslims try to understand Christian theology without reading the Bible, that's probably why it doesn't make sense, right? Um, have you ever read Philippians chapter 2? Look at that. You don't have Paul again. We are talking about Jesus here. What is, what is, what is Talk. Jesus talking? And you're running to Paul, you read the Hebrews, whatever. You you can't yeah. negate Paul because we're speaking of the New Testament. Paul never met Jesus. Come on, man. We know Can that. Can you stop using that argument? My argument is, yeah, my argument with you, yeah, is shows where Jesus, why he's asking God for uh, glory. If he's, if, if he's equally God, he, he would not be asking. Because the, he, laid, um, he, laid down, he laid aside his glory when he entered. When he entered his so own he created, laid down his divinity, forest, everything. So, he so he would yes. not God on earth. That means, yeah. He didn't lay aside his divinity. He just laid aside his authority. He received it back up in his resurrection. No, Paul, man, if, if he had the divinity yeah, on yeah, earth, but, but, but he wouldn't be asking uh, God. Uh, Surprise! Why are you assuming just because Christ says that Father glorify me, <clears throat> that I may also glorify you? Why do you assume that that takes away from his divine nature or his divinity? No, but if he was divine, he would he would not be. Asking, Hori, you will not be asking. Yeah, you will be equally going. You will have the power to your question assumes Your question assumes that when Christ asks the Father for anything, then it takes away from his divine nature. Why yeah, do you assume does, that? Because that does not mean 
equal if they no, were equal then you are assuming that to help why, why okay. you are assuming that do we have Ahmed back now just a second guys do we have Ahmed back now no he's not here who's the one that just who just joined in we got I don't like know I don't know this guy Surprise, Tippy Bear called and who's the other one and this side we got Mac we got Mac. Mac J I think he's from Clubhouse we got Mac oh okay Mac Mac was supposed to join uh yeah what's up Mac can you hear us uh, I do. Hear you, guys. you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you just fine. Yeah, Mac. Uh, Mac yeah, came cool. from Clubhouse. He's a Muslim. Uh, How you doing? Not good, man. It's been a struggle just to join this application. I mean, the <laughs> website. But you made it. I'm not much of a tech savvy guy, so. Yeah, but you made a good job, Mac. Hmm. Thank you. So, so, so Mac also on Clubhouse said that he wanted to speak with me directly. He's he wanted to for a little while. So, actually, yeah. not just a while. It's been a long while. But ooh, get him. Uh, I mean, your buddy's already kind of said everything that I wanted to ask. So, right now, I don't even know. Oh, okay. why I'm here? Like I don't even know why I'm here right now. Well, we are getting a lot of love today with the uh, with the gifts from everyone. Um, we have uh, Luffy who gave a gift. We don't stick to one passage to come up with doctrine. We read the Bible as a whole to come up with doctrine. Amen. <laughs> Those gifts have... are for Chloe, by the way, because you know we all know how much you pay her. <laughs> We also have Jenkins. He said, I understand Muslims do not want to believe what the, uh, what the, I want to, I think it's probably Bible is saying here. Yet as logical people, you must understand that the father shares his spirit with Jesus and the Holy Spirit after reading. Okay. Thanks right. for that. Well, Kiota Jenkins. Uh, thanks for supporting God logic, I guess. But yeah. Uh, Okay, fine. Good job but, uh, throwing some thank yous in there, Ahmed. Right, so we're cool. Ahmed. Uh, bro, no, look, look, man. We're, uh, we're, we're still taught, on. We're, the, as Muslims we're still on the true God and the only true God. You guys people of the book, you know. But you we're, 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 we're still on the question, Ahmed. We're still on the question. And 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 just we're like, still on the question, Ahmed. Fine, you're gonna you're gonna interrupt me from apologizing. No, to you we're still on the we're still on the question, bro. Hey, God logic. Hold on, man. You just. That's not nice, bro. You just interrupted me. I was about to apologize, but okay. I can't Apolog wait. You don't need to apologize. We just, let's continue yeah, the conversation. Yeah, but like, bro, like for real, you guys, we, we're taught to respect y'all. Like you guys are people of the book, of course. Like we, I have nothing against y'all, but here's the thing, man. When you're calling us Abduls and trying need, to laugh at need, us and stuff like that, it's not really nice. The, but the, also, the, we need the answer to the question, Ahmed. The difference okay, between fine. true God and only true God. What's the difference? Okay, so as I said, uh, the only true God contains a distinction in which it says the only true God. The only okay. true God. Okay, good. So, is the is if if is the true God the false God? Nope. Is that's the only true God? God that's like God? that. That's, that violates the law of identity. You know. Okay, so there could if there is a true anything that's outside of the true God or the anything true is false, right? Well, it can be well, I mean, in I, some I, ideas. I, I, yeah. I can't. Hold on, hold on, Mac. Hold on, Mac, because this is Ahmed. I, I, so I, well, let I can't just answer you like, like I can't just answer hey, you on that one because like. Mac, wait, bro. Mac, wait, hold wait, your wait, mic, Mac. please. Wait. Mac, wait, are you wait, wait, can you hear me, Mac? Hey, no, I don't know how to mute myself, to be honest. Like, I don't know it's which one is okay, button. I'll, 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 I'll meet you. I'll meet you. I got you. All right, cool, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, off, man. Just, so you said you right. you said you can't answer that. No, no, I did not say that. I had. I, you're saying you're saying that whatever is outside of the true is false. Like what? But what do you mean by that? Like what exactly do you mean? As like if it's a deity, then of course, like th there can't be any like deity outside of the true deity. You know, like do you, do you get what I'm saying? If or this deity, is, sorry, if, if this is a true bottle, if this is the true bottle, if I say this is the true bottle, there's only one bottle. This is the true bottle. Right? If this was to be hypothetically the only true bottle, the only bottle on this. If this is the system. true bottle, let's just say I just say simply the true bottle. Well, Does that, that means that, that there that, cannot that, be any other. Then that cannot. That means that cannot. There cannot be any other any other bottles out there. In the beautiful. World. If so the, this so hypothetically the, was very good. So when you bottle. say the and true even God, then we have to make sure. When you, wait, wait, wait. when you say the true God, can there be another God outside of the true God? 
Nope. No, no I Beautiful. already answered that. Absolutely. Excellent. And so let's now let's say the only true God. Can there be a true God outside of the only true God? Nope. Good. So saying the only true God and saying the true God are the same thing. Yep. No, they're not the same. The true and the only true are not really the okay. same. That's so what you tell saying. me, <laughs> you tell me the difference then. What's the difference between okay. saying I already, the already true God question, bro. and the it's only true God? Go ahead. I already told you, man. There's a distinction between them. I know what you're trying to say. I want to know. I want to know the distinction. They, uh, bro. I, I understand what you're saying that they both have the word "true God," but what I'm saying is the Father has the thing like the only true God, and one of the people who you consider to be the true God was the one who gave him this description. By the way, so that you're not answering the question. What is the difference between the true God and the only true God? You said there's a distinction. I want to know it. By only, you mean that no one other than. So then there uh, could be no other God than the Father. I mean, what are you wait, 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 Okay. What is the difference, the distinction between only true God and true God? What's the distinction between those statements? You're still not answering. I don't know why. I already told you, bro. I already told you, man. Like, by when you say the only true God, you're saying that there's can there can be no one other than this entity that can be a true God. Okay, so when we say true God, then can there be another entity outside of that I, uh, that being that entity that is also a true God? Well, then if if we if I if I reply with no, there cannot. Okay, look, look, just listen to me, man. Listen to me, bro. If I reply with no. Then this would this would just imply that there's a contradiction in the Bible because Jesus is called the true God, but the I just want to know the answer. Can there be a true God am, outside of the true God? Okay, okay, bro, but 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 which one? Okay, bro. Oh Avery, my gosh. Avery. What is so hard about Avery, this, ladies? And Avery, man? Avery, bro. Avery, man, you don't need to do this, bro. We're just having a friendly discussion, man. I'm learning. So I'm then learning. answer I'm, bro, the question. If I'm wrong, I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm yeah, willing to say go uh, that there. I'm wrong. Right. I'm, I'm only learning. I'm only learning, bro. I'm not saying that I know everything. I'm, I'm can be wrong, beautiful. But so can you? So okay. are you saying that you can't answer this question? No, 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 no. I did not. I did not say that. I did okay, not say so that, I'm going to ask you it again, please. The next thing that comes out of your mouth should be the answer. Can there be a true God outside of the true God? No. Okay. Thank you. But then I have a question. So, every, so have that a means. So that means. That means that the true God. Is the only true God correct? Oh my God, man, oh, bro! Like, uh, okay, fine. Look, look. Just please listen correct. to me. I, I don't think you're getting the problem here. I, I really understand. That means that the true God is the only true God, correct? Listen, 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 man. Just listen. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. The only true bro, God, listen. one God. I agree, listen. Safraz. Why is it so hard for him to answer? Why are you not bloody good? No, no, Avery, 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 I was on, man. I'm only. Uh, if you could please allow me. Okay, fine. Look. I'll answer you. Look, I'll answer your question once you listen to me. Could you please listen to me, man? I have this. One I, I only want to listen to the answer. I don't want the waffling. I want the answer. Look, you can't just. You can't just like. It's, it's kind of complicated. I'm not really. I don't really have the ability to explain the complication here. But there, there is a problem. So I would like to talk to you about it, Avery. I want the answer, or else just say I can't answer that, Avery. Look, the true God, when you say the true God, there cannot be there, there cannot be other than this entity that is true. Excellent. But, but still, but still, but Avery, Avery. But Avery wait, that means that but, that's the only true God, then, right? But but Avery, you can't just equivocate them, you know. I just want to. I just want to know. Does that mean that that's know, the only true God? But then, but then, but then Avery, but then Avery, but then, but you're not but, answering, like, bro. Just listen to me, man. I'm Please, trying like, to listen to you. Through my answer, through the answer to my question. I have, I have, I have a problem that I want to present to you, man. Like this question, right, can present your problem easily? after you answer. I, I look, bro. You have all the time in the world. Just answer the question. Okay, fine. There, if the, if the the true God is like there cannot be other than Him that is the true God. Then but it's can, the only but, true God, correct? But then, but I'm then, okay, but then, but then, but no, then, I'm if, asking specifically. It's because there cannot be another God outside of the true God. That means okay. that the true God is the only true God, right? If okay, fine, I'll concede, but but just 
just for me I, to I go to my yes. I need to hear a yes if you're conceding. I'll concede. I'll concede. But let, 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 let me just. No, no. I, I need to hear a yes. Yes, for the sake of argument. I'm not. No, no like, not for the sake of argument. I need us to both have the same understanding. Avery, we're not. We're not making any progress here, man. I know we're not because you're being stuck and stubborn. Because you don't no, no, want to admit no, what, what's clearly in front of you. No, no. Look, 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 bro. Look, bro. Look. I understand what you're saying, but then there's a problem here. You know. So can you admit? I, there, there is wait, a wait, wait. That I can would you, like to talk can to you. Can you, you at least admit? Can you at least admit that by Jesus being the only true, being the true God, that He's the only true God as well? But then, what about the Father? What, the, what about just the just answer this? We'll we'll get to the Father. No, no, part. but what about the Father? We'll get to the what Father the part father? right now, right after this. Okay, fine. If I say yes, then what about the Father? Is he? Oh, no, no, it's not. A, if you say yes, I need. See, this is what we're not going to do. This is what we don't do on my stage. On my hold stage, on, hold on. Okay. we solidify and yeah. justify our positions. And so this is what we're doing. There is no if this and if that. We're, uh, you made a claim, you brought an argument, and now I'm addressing your objection directly and I'm dicing it up. And so now we're at the part where Jesus is identified as the true God. You admitted that there cannot be a God outside of the true God. So now I'm asking you, when Jesus is identified as the true God, is there a God outside of Jesus? I know. She had the right answer. That, that, that was awesome. That, that was good timing right there. Bro, man. You lot, come on, man. Half an hour, I'll be waiting here. So, Fraz, you can wait another half hour. You lot saying Jesus is true God. No way. Wait, why is he, wait, why, why are we not hearing right. Ahmed's voice? That's, who, that's whose voice I want to hear. We have to get the Bible. Flipping, we do got to get the Bible, huh? That's what he needs. Yeah, he does. Good idea. Go, yeah. See, the, the child knows more than Ahmed. You need to get the Bible. Stay in my lap. That's an insult. Okay, Mac. Hey. Are you there? Hold on. Oh, Mac's back. The Mac can you is hear back. Me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Oh, man. And why did you bully that kid? Bully? Yeah, literally. <laughs> bully. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, you, I mean don't you feel bullying. like you bullied him? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you feel like you bullied him? We didn't bully anybody. No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't bully so let me admit it. We didn't bully oh, anybody. Oh, I guess. Hang on. So that's how you play. What do you mean? So that's how you play. Uh, when someone brings up an objection and I hold them to their own objection and their reasoning and I destroy their arguments, that's how I, I that's the only way I play. No, oh, cool. So let me bring an argument. When you bully people, while you're surrounding yourself with the people that would support whatever the fuck do you do, how whoa, language, my friend, that? language. You're Muslim, right? Oh, I apologize, man. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's just that I witnessed something and I kind of got, you know, a little bit, uh, well, you can say furious, so that's why the, the language came out, so I apologize for that. It's okay. I admit that. Let, right, so, so continue, did you want to continue his line of argument about Jesus being the true God in the Bible? Hold on. Oh, are we going to the questionnaire? If you want to huh? ask a question, you, you can ask. If you want to, if you wanted to continue, you know, the guy's argumentation, you, you can continue it. Like, you know, it's up to you. Thank you so much. Hold on. We have a, a super chat. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yeah, it's a cut today, y'all. We cutting up some arguments with the scripture today. Uh, here's the thing. Thank you. The, the other guy who actually mentioned that. Uh, God's word is sharper than uh, sharper like a two-faced sword kind of reminds me of a story from the uh, book of revelation do you think that jesus comes down with a sword instead of tongue and a snake i don't know what is that is that the god that you're referring to i don't know what you're talking about uh, <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Do you accept the book of Revelation as a no, he's, as part of the canon? Don't know he's we, don't, we, we don't know either. Uh, yeah, we we accept the book of Revelation. 
Then when Jesus came comes down to John, I don't know which John is. How John does the Apostle. See, how does he see it? What, what, what verse are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just remember reading it. I don't know which verse it is. Can you get it? <laughs> Sorry. You're okay. Just it, it'd be easier if you're if you're going to question a verse or, or something in the Bible, Mac. It'd just be easier if you had the verse uh, for the reference so that we can read it to understand what you're trying to say. That's all. Oh, okay. So when I just say it, when the when Jesus appears to John uh, with the with a sword instead of tongue and uh, seven lights, I don't know what chandeliers says something like that. I don't rem I don't remember the reference or Never. anything. But don't Seven. you guys think that it's like easily distinguishable? Like, can you can you Google it or something? That's the Revelation chapter one one twenty is done about the seven hey. candlesticks. Who am I speaking with right now? Who am I speaking with? You're speaking with Chris Claus. Is that okay? Uh, can you like mute yourself? Why? <laughs> no, that was that was Safraz, the Muslim that you that was speaking with you. Oh, so oh, wow. Why would Muslim be here and listen? Hey, to you is anyway, if you guys don't mind muting 20. yourselves, then I'm here for God logic. That's it. Unless if you guys want to interfere, then just say it from now, so I can scream. Bro, just quote the verse, man. Oh, so that's how it is, right? God logic. Yeah, man. Quote the verse, that's man. Why are you so, so uh, Mac Safraz is a is another Muslim brother. He's trying oh, to help man. you. Hold on. God logic. Is that how you do it? Like, you have to have like four or five and one Muslim just to defend your back? Is that it? Safraz is a Muslim. Bro, the yeah, verse I is quoting is a Muslim. Chapter one, I did one mention in a Muslim. You want me to write it down on the chat or something? <laughs> exactly, Taylor. Uh, do it again. Seven so you, kind of me, thick, like, me, Brother, oh my. brother, brother, there's seven candlesticks that you're talking about is Revelation chapter 1 20. Did I ask you? Yes. Don't you think that your name is like Sir Faraz stands for uh, like Kumandan uh, or something like that? Like type of shit like that? Brother, I don't can you know watch, you hey, hey, can you watch your language? That was the second time. Actually, uh, I you think it's better for me if I skid at all because I thought God logic would be just like refuting me one on one. I didn't. Okay, 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 okay. I, sorry, Safraz. Um, he he's really insistent. So, I, I'm I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Thank you for. He said your patience is extraordinary, Avery. God bless you. God bless you. And, and, uh, here. and God bless Taylor. Uh, Mac, um, you are a Muslim, correct? Uh, I need to be sure. How would you be sure? Like, what I would you want you to, to confirm for me? You? So you are you are a Muslim, yeah. How can I prove it? I just uh, recite Surah Al Fatiha. Do you believe in Surah Al Fatiha? I believe in the original mm -hmm. Surah. Yeah. Okay. The 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 Watch what is the original Watch Surah Al-Fatiha? Watch it. What? What is the original Surah Al-Fatiha? Oh yes, it's not in the one that you have. The one you have is corrupted. Uh, and the correct one is. Can you like tell me which one it is? Well, you got. You got to bring me the real one. Bring me the original. Yeah. Can you like bring me the original one? So I know what you're talking about. Come on, I'm just asking for a proof. I'm not asking for an impossible. No, this is this is for you to prove. This is for you to bring. So the one that I, that we have is not mm -hmm. the correct one. Correct. According to who? According according to your own scholars. And who are those? Can you like name them? Uh, you got, you know. In your hadith, when Sahih Abu Kari, no, 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 Abu Musa, Zayn Abi, you have Warsh and Havs, Kalum. Mm. So, 
So like for for example, which one which one is 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 it a uh, Maliki Yomidi or is it Maliki Yomidi? Hold on. So you just ran away from the actual question, the original Surat Al Fatiha. Yeah, you I'm, brought up I'm, I'm sure. I'm showing you. I'm showing you. That, come on, now, let me speak. Showing that what you stop, have stop, is, stop. is wrong. Yeah, you got logic. Come on, stop. When you what, said, you that the one you have "Oh my is wrong. God!" Like are you guys, are you just gonna let me speak, or are you just gonna cut me off all the time? I'm confused. You asked no, me for a, a question, did you not? I got your question. What? But okay. if you don't accept my question, uh, like if you don't accept the one, the version that I have, mm -hmm. then prove me the correct version. If the Surah Al Fatiha is incorrect according uh -huh. to these hadiths, I'm going to yeah. look for it and I'm going to bring it to you and tell me is that uh, the statement that they say that is corrupted so I can, so I can understand your point. Because well, I don't well, understand your point right now. I got you. So I'm just. Bring me an actual just... proof. That's it. Okay, I'm just a little I'm confused. So, when you read Surah Al Fatiha yeah. and you get to verse four uh, in the Arabic, uh, uh, it says something different than what is in the Warsh Quran. Can you tell me what are the difference? Yeah, one says king and the other says owner. I'm trying to figure out which one is correct. What do you think uh, the correct one is? You have to tell me. You're the Muslim. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. So the book of Warsh, uh, when you said the uh, the Mushaf al Warsh, be quiet. Where are they? Like, wh where is that being used? Warsh? and the one that yes. It's so, a, okay. it, I I have it in my in my trunk. I take it everywhere where I where I go. Don't, don't, I'll I'll find it for you right now. And they're actually they they actually are reading uh, it in a uh, in a. Uh, in Morocco, in Morocco, that's the yeah, one Morocco. they recite. Where's God? God is everywhere, baby. You need to learn your scripture? You want to learn your scripture now? Okay. But... <laughs> Love the Lord your God mm -hmm. for your heart, mm -hmm. for your soul, all your soul, for all your for strength. Six, five. What was that? Deuteronomy what? Deuteronomy six five. Deuteronomy six five. Bless your heart. <laughs> hey, bless that, bless that young one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna come out after we get done destroying this dawa today. Oh, we lost Ahmed again. He keeps he keeps kicking out, and all we got is the safras on here. Hey, can I just one one question? It's back, it's Mac. Oh, you probably oh, lost. Yeah, sorry, Mac. So right now I'm watching you guys on a browser on what's it called on a Chrome browser. Yeah. On my oh. phone, and when I just left. To the other, what's it called? The other tab, just to find you the the word. It kind of cut me off for some reason. I don't know why, but it cut me off. Are you so on your I'm phone? Like, Are you on your yeah. cell phone? I'm yeah. On my cell phone. Yeah. So yeah, when when you leave this, it's probably that's probably the reason why, bro. It's probably gonna. Uh, so actually, mm -hmm. I'm like restricted on on no pages. If I leave, that means it cuts off. I got it. So yeah. here here's the thing. Yeah. The word when it says Maliki Omidin. And then the Hafz bin Alsum that says Maliki mm Omiddin. -hmm. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. In the Arabic version, Malik and Malik. And those are both referring to, to, the, to the God, like uh, as a owner of the Day of Judgment and the uh, King of Day of Judgment. Mm -hmm. Can you like define me like if the owner, uh, the King of the Day of Judgment and the owner of the Day of Judgment? Like, do you find sure. a person that is in the middle? Like, there's a second guy, according to these uh, writings and understandings. Well, well, the well, the problem is, is that you can be an owner, but not necessarily a king, right? But mm -hmm. you could be if you're the if you're the king, you own everything. And and if you're the owner, if you're the owner, you're not. You don't own everything. You just own that specific thing, or you know. You're not necessarily the okay, king. So the king is the higher, exactly. higher ruler. Yeah, thank you. 
And the subject talks about what? Yeah. The day of judgment, right? Yeah. And what is in the day of judgment uh, that a person can own and cannot own? Well, I just, I just want to know which one is it. Is he the king of it or the, the owner of it? Here's the thing. Think about it. Thank you, you so much the, for the gift. Oh, we have Kingdom use First Ministry. God bless name. you. The word says, your name says logic. Can you like use that and try to define in the day of judgment, a king and an owner? How do you, how do you just, how like, how would you, how would you like put a, a block in the middle and one has to be the owner and then the other has to be the king? Well, like, what is there in do the you day of judgment? Do you, do you believe, do you believe that every word of the Quran is the word of Allah? Of course. So which one did Allah say? Did he say owner or did he say king? Maliki Yawmiddin. That is the owner of the day of judgment. Maliki Yawmiddin. King of day of judgment. But the thing yeah. is... Which one did he say? If you find that... Hold on. If you find the Warsh, okay? And if you read it yeah. exactly as it's written, with all the mm -hmm. vowels, what do you see? I, I don't care. I want to know what did he say. Hold on. I want you to open any Quranic verse right now on your say on on your uh, on your phone or on your stream. Tell me those lettering. In any, no, what, which one did Allah say? That's my, my Mac. We're not going to go through the through the roller coaster. Trying to tell my you, question is simple. To which one did Allah you, say? Is, come on, stop talking when I'm talking, please. What no, no, I'm no. Telling you, no the, the question is simple. You don't you don't come on here and, and control anything. Answer the Actually, question. Absolutely, I can. Why not? Answer the question. Which Why one did Allah say? Question. Did Allah say king or did he say owner? Which one? Uh, if Allah said something and I'm providing you the, the words that is actually said by Allah, so I want you to... Which one book. did he it's say? Uh, well, he said Malik Yomidin and Malik Yomidin. He both said them both? Them. Yes. Which, which one is in the preserved tablet? Both of them. <laughs> Where's yes, your well, evidence? He owns both of the tablets. Where's your evidence? Other oh, wait, than he just said, saying he said it's in both of the tablets. So there's more than one tablet. Oh, wow. Thank you for twisting the word. Do you feel good, Daniel? Do you feel like uh, something that is great? Like you found the contradiction in the Islamic teachings and stuff like that? Do you feel like you got wings now? Is Dude. that it? Because you know, this doesn't make any sense, Mac. You're saying yeah, you that Allah, the, 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 Quran, you like that the Quran is Allah's word, and yet we have in Allah's word two different things. You're trying to say that He said both. It was written in seven dialects. How can I? Seven dialects. How can, dialects. I, how can I bring you the it difference? Was written in For example, uh, who's talking? Hey, the other Muslim guy, can you like shut up? You like hate the world, eh, Mac? To be honest, I am really mad. Like, you guys are here. That's why it makes me mad. Like, I'm here just for this guy. And apparently, this guy is also as dumb as like, anyone else that I'm seeing. You should feel better and go kiss the black stone. Oh, wow. And you allow that in your stream. And you allow yeah. that, right? Well, I mean, you guys do do that, don't you? Mm, and you say that's the thing. Wow. I mean, what, is he you wrong? Do Muslims not wrong kiss the you black stone? And you're still talking about, like, you know, once uh, once one of your guys said, it's actually a very interesting word, a person that thinks that he knows enough about something and that he <laughs> thinks he's right. You, but you actually think me telling you to go kiss a black stone is half as bad as what you've been trying to do to the uh, uh, anyone the on the stage today? Like, said, the lack of knowledge the lack of knowledge what you're doing? Said, and also here's the thing you saw a few guys kissing a black stone did you see your everyone prophet. kissing a black stone the only reason you do it is because your prophet did it did, oh, you, did you ask if, you see if anybody kisses the black stone why did he do it because it forgives sins according to who and nobody do it unless, and nobody do it unless and, they saw him doing it. Did you did you see him? Did, did you meet him? Or is there any script that says that? Yeah, the hadith. The hadith says yeah. that Muhammad touches the and embraces the stone, the the stone because he because he uh, says the that it forgives sins. 
Give me the ID. Oh, my oh, I, I got you. I got you. I'm, I look. Mom, a mom logic is at your before, service. Hold on. I am before, here for you. Before you I'm put your ID, hold on. Can you like mute these other guys because I do not no. enjoy interruptions in the middle of a conversation. Sucks to be you. It's an open panel, my friend. Uh, okay, I, but, so but, but, here's but, the thing. But you I'm and I are, are most the I am. I'm going to quote you the, uh, I mean, the hadith, actually. Why did I say uh, yeah. I got you, no problem. I'm going to quote you the hadith. I will get you this hadith, my friend. No I problem. know. I already have it memorized in my hand. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, oh they you quoted for me. Quoted. Can you quote it? You want me to say it out loud? Oh, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. You don't believe in whatever I'm going to say, so you have to bring your own. Quote it. Actually, you're there, so. I'm gonna light a cigarette and watch you find it. Oh, it's uh, smoking cigarettes uh, halal in Islam now? Mm. In 2009, I kiss a stone, simple. Hold on, there's a misquotation, misunderstanding according to them. Why is she in here? Uh, well, here it is. It's in one of my files under Islamic idolatry. Fakar, uh, Fakar al Dunub, Kama. Hold on, let me try to zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. Nice. Oh, here it is. Tabiru bay al Hajju al Amra, fa in the ma yem fain al Fakra, wa Dunub, Kama yem fail. Oh, I'll read. 2919. Sunan Asai is one of the accepted Hadith collections, too. That's, weirdly, that's, that's, correct. That's, that's correct. Mash Yeshua. Mash Yeshua. Once, once you see this Hadith, we want you to uh, come over to original Quran only Christianity. That's right. We'll, we'll let you say your Shahada for the Quran only Christian. Mm -hmm. You mean like the what's it called? What do you guys call it? The sola scriptus? No, no. You can reject this fake Quran that you read today and go back to the original Quran, the one that and states that the eternal, the, the, the one that states the one that states the eternal Son of God and His own same? creation died by crucifixion and raised on the third you day. You do the same. I got you, man. Don't don't explain it. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. No, no. Yeah. You could go ahead read. The I, I had to zoom in. No, no, zoom out. No, it's, Why? It's, it's, it's good, Avery. I said zoom out. Why? No, it's good. So I can see the Arabic. Oh, you want to see the Arabic? Okay. Well, read the English, then zoom out, zoom out for him for the Arabic. Why would I need I the English? I know the Arabic. What, what does it say in the English? You see it? No. You don't see the English? Uh, I'm not wearing my glasses. Arabic, I can easily see. Arabic, you can easily see, but you can't. It's harder can for you to see. I can zoom it in. I'm not wearing my glasses, so hold on. Let me let me do it. Let me do it. Uh, oh, Abu Abu Rahman, why do mm -hmm. I why do I only see you touching these two corners? Why, what do you mean by uh, hold on? There's corners. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah say, touching them erases sins, and I had. Uh, what? And I heard him say, uh, and I heard him say, whoever uh, Cir uh, I don't, I don't know. Circumbulates. I'm not wearing my glasses, man. Circum circumbulates. Circum Seven times. It's like freeing a slave. Wow, okay. That's good. Now go to the Arabic side. Okay. Here. Ibn mm. Shaykh, Fadbalafakal. بأنا قطيبي فقال حدثنا أحمد بإنهي أراك تسلم إلى هذين الركنين قال إني سمعت رسول الله okay I heard the prophet سلم يقول إن مسحهما يمحيان خطيئا وسمعت يقول إن من طاف سبعا فهو what, what is it saying? Okay, that's great. Here's the thing. Why does the Arabic say something different than whatever that is in the English? Why? What does the Arabic say? Does it say that touching it removes your sins? 
where does it say touching? It actually says the uh, mas, and which is the other word for masir, and which is the known, uh, which is the name that's known for you guys as the Messiah. Bro, stop right. it. Where is it here? Here, no, right you, down you, here. Bro, no, no, no. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Right point the point the mouse. What? And I'll show what? you where it says. Why? Why? Why do you point have to your, point your mouse? I'm gonna show it to you. Why I, do you have I, 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 I just got one more thing to say to you, Mac. Hold on. Why do you say that? Why does it say that? Stop the cap, man. Does it, say, does, it say, does, it, does it say anything about touching? Does it say anything about touching the sides? Does it say anything, anything about touching the corners, the two corners? Where does it say that? I'm asking you, does it say that? Oh, no. Uh, yes. Thank you. And so it means to wipe. So what and what does it uh what does it, it do when you touch when, when you touch mas ma, which is any other words for mas for mas and that is like uh, to wipe. It's not masih. The, the, Thank you the second word to it to erase, is to wipe. Masih, and that is in English messiah. No, what do you mean? Masih. Oh come on, Uthman Ibn Footnote. <laughs> Bro, oh, really? I mean, you guys are the one with the footnote. Do you think that the Quran comes with a footnote? <sighs> There's a shake that what? does, but, but that's besides the point. Um, I mean, so, yeah, shake. So right here, for example, so right your shake. Who are your shakes? What you happens like, when you touch the two corners, Mac? Hold on. When you said shakes do, Mac, what about your What happens, happens when you touch the, touch the two corners? Stop asking questions over questions. Just answer what my question. What happens question. when you touch the two corners? What happens when you touch the corners? Yeah, what happens? It says, and يمسحها الخ what's it called إن مسحهما يحطان الخطية that is what it said yeah which is translated it here is the thing مسح it, it wipes your sins correct exactly because you know what the word مسح is the مسيح is the sin it, it, wipes, it wipes your sins oh so is that what's the meaning of uh, مسيح no, or that's what this, no that's what this hadith says but the hadith says you actually just said it you actually just said it wipes the sins you literally just said it okay if i said it that means you made me say it no no you said it on your oh, <laughs> oh we made we, we held a gun to your head and made you say it you said it on your no, own you guys are well. saying that it's, wipes it's sad that you can't it's sad that you can't keep lying that's so, the that's the thing. so help me out here if i'm lying in the quran is actually mentioned by Allah. No, no. So, so so can you can you now hit can Ibn you now admit Ibn that you've been lying this whole time? Does that mean like the wiper of Allah? Thank you so much for admitting that you were lying the whole time. Wow. Wow. So, I touching the I two mean, corners of the stone wipes your sins. Like, I, so, so, hey, 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 so, so, touching the two corners hey, of the stone, God logic. you agree, God logic. wipes, wipes away your sins, correct? Stop embarrassing yourself. Stop embarrassing yourself. I thought is that, is that, that correct? you might be a respectful guy like the other people, but unfortunately, is that I'm is it correct that why, that touching the two uh, corners wipes away your your sins? Yimsah, uh, yimsah, uh, That however you want to take the mashahuma, you take it as the way as you want to take it. Yimhatana khatiya, and it it says erases the sins. Don't Beautiful. Messiah? Don't you, okay, so it says Masih, uh, That's it the next Masih, word of Messiah. Mas How do you understand that Masih. one then? It doesn't say Masih. Avery, let me Masih. jump in. Avery, let me jump in. Man. Here's Come the thing. Go ahead, go ahead. Help, him, help him out, Safras. Help him. Avery, the hadith says if you touch it, it erases sins. We know this hadith, man. Okay, okay. It, if you say Masih, it, touch it, what is the word for touch in Arabic? It wipe or touch it erases no. it's in the hadith. The word touch in Arabic. Bro, so the even hadith so, even stop so the, the, the word the touch in hadith. Arabic. Bro, the hadith says stop saying bro, we are not even a Muslim. Come on. I am I am a Muslim, bro. Say the shahada then. Oh my word. <laughs> bro, you need to go sleep. Say the shahada. Stop talking too much. Prove me wrong. Say the shahada. Bro, go to sleep, man. Say the shahada. Bro, go to sleep or I'll, or I'll, no, I'll so come there. He's not a Muslim. Just so you know. So he just brought up fake Muslim. He cannot even say the shahada. 
Bro, <laughs> he's scared. Bro, to, he's scared bro, to say the shahada, Mac. Bro, he's scared to say the shahada. Bro, now, follow me. Follow with me. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Say it with me. Ashhadu an la ilaha. Bro, you are drunk. Say it. Say it. Ashhadu an la. What? What the heck are you be smoking? You? Say ashhadu. Ashhadu. Follow me. Ashhadu. Follow me. Bro, I shall do. This is hilarious. Oh. So Amazing. yeah, I don't. I don't think he's a Muslim man. He cannot even <laughs> say the shahada. A lot of time. So yeah, your minions brother, are awesome, brother. That hadith is sahih. If Stop anybody calling pushes, me brother when you can't recite the shahada. If that that hadith is sahih, and you cannot even pushes, bring a Lord. simple word, the word touch in Arabic. What does it mean? Oh is it lems? Thank you, Hubert. Plus, Raz, you gotta smarten up your Muslim brother here. What? Nah, well, he's not a Muslim brother, man. Look, he's not. He's, he's, he's like more different than you guys. Hey, hey, I, think, I think. Oh I think shit! Here question. he is. How you doing? Hey, man. Now, Why are you sweating so much, much, man? Yo, uh, what's your name? Uh, hold on. Your brother is here. One second. No, no, guys, guys, one second. Let me remember, man. You just. God yes. damn, you got me very excited. Okay now, hey Mac. Okay now, I wanted to go by his definition. I didn't want to join in. You guys, do phenomenal. you know my policy. I don't like to join when you guys. But he just basically said it's the word for Messiah. So I want to go with his interpretation. So basically, when it says that this word, according to you, Mac, is the same word we get Messiah anointed. So what you're saying, the Hadith is saying. I'm gonna now go with your interpretation. That no. by touching the two corners, your sins will be anointed, so your sins become messiahs, messianic <laughs> sins. So, so, so excellent. So actually, I want to congratulate you. I want everyone to hear what you said. Go with his definition. I'm not going to even argue with your definition. According to you, Allah will anoint your sins. Your sins will be anointed sins. So now you have sins who will become messiahs like Jesus. Perfect. Excellent. Here's the thing. Sam Excellent. Shimon, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you agree, so, though? So let's just say if the sin, which is the uh, Messiah, do you think that the... So the sins are Messiah. Wait, just, wait, say it again, Mac? The word that I said, what you just said. Yeah, the said interpretation the that you just Messiah. did. Repeat that again. What do you mean? I'm sorry, I didn't you get it. Said, we got you recorded, so I want you to say it slowly so they can hear. You said, doesn't it say the sins that are Messiah? So you agree the sins are Messiah, then? Okay, that is beautiful. No, no, that's a beautiful twist, guys. Hold on. If Messiah is a sin, if the Messiah is sin, why would the no, word Messiah? I said you said. Uh, no, no, what you're saying? Oh, what you're saying? Oh, come on now, come on. Look, look don't, run, don't run away like that. Don't run away. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'm not. You said the word well, means Messiah, right? Don't run away, Sam. Right. Guys, so here it is. If we if all gang up on him, he's going to mute that Messiah as an Messiah is the sin. So all the sins turn to. Uh, uh, Messiah. Here's oh, the thing. So that that doesn't that make any sense. That, that sentence doesn't make sense, bro. That's no, okay. okay. Go with it. it. I, hey, Mac, I, I, I appreciate you. I'm just okay, yeah, Mac, I'm, here, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying thank you for proving Allah will take your sins and anoint them and transform them to become Messiah. So we have now messianic sins. So why are you debating me? I'm agreeing with you. Okay. So if they, if you have a messianic sin, so you think okay. uh, that's the what you, mean. That you right. have right, right now is actually a good thing? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm going by your definition. I'm not saying anything. I'm not debating you. Listen, I'm agreeing with you. I'm helping you refute Saf. Yeah, so actually, you put me off in a really that's wrong right. time. But the thing is, uh, if you Saf, just like... You need to prove you're a Muslim. I'm, uh, I'm actually yeah. helping Mac. I agree yeah. with Mac. The word how here. Means how would you want me to prove my Islam? How would you prove my Islam? How would you want me to prove my Islam? No, I'm not Mac. Did I say how do you want me to prove Saf? my Islam? Say the Shahada. No, no, no. Here's <laughs> what I, want you to do. I want you to take a picture of you kissing the black stone, so your sins become messianic. All right. So can you like send me the? the no, when you make Hajj or Umrah, thing. when you make Hajj and Umrah. Take a film or a photo when you're touching I'll do the right now. I'll well, go right on. now. Do you want Send me to money? You're not letting me finish. Me my I'll my do it. Kiss it and Send then smother it like the prophet did. And then send us a video. We'll upload it to our channel. Say, here we go. Mac just had his sins become messiahs. Because when he oh. touched the two corners and he kissed it, his sins were now anointed. Allah turned his sins into messiahs. 
Okay? Mm, that's that's actually perfect. Okay. No, no, that's no, perfect. That's, 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 I will do it. I will do it. If my sins are Messiah, then I will do it. Here's the thing. Pay me, pay, send me my, uh, send me my uh, plane ticket. I'll go right now. Well, hold on. You can ask your local masjid to take part of the zakat and finance you because part of the zakat is for those who travel, especially if he's a bill of law. Chapter 9, verse 6. So that's correct. Finance you. Correct. But in what term? I mean, chapter 9, verse 60, right? Exactly. The what does it say? That, that is for the people for and the people Allah? of the needy. Are you when traveling say, for Allah? I'm asking you. Are you traveling for Allah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you know, actually, hey, can I actually ask the Muslim a, a, a really simple question? I'm just, I'm just curious. Hey, bro, bro, I'm just curious, man. What does Masih mean in Arabic? What, what does that word mean? Masih is the... Uh, yeah, but what does the word mean? Like, I'm just curious what it, what it means. How can I bring like that in it. English? Well, yeah, yeah it's what does it mean? mean? Then okay. Tandif, what is Tandif? Say it again. Mac, what's the what definition I hear you? Tandif, Nadaf, what is that uh, like? Uh, tem, tem what is that? How, how can I say the Tamsih in, in, in English? Well, according to, really Saraga, according to his scholars, it can mean to anoint, to wipe. Yeah, but we're not supposed to tell him that, bro. Like, I want to, I want to, no, 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 no. I'm just curious on, what he, what he hey, thinks hey, with, like, Masih means. Like, what, yeah, what do the Arabs think Masih means? You're not better than him, so please, let him speak. I'm just curious. You know, I was saying, guy. Right, according to the Muslims, there are two definitions. Not trying to help him, because I want to see either definition that's going to help him. The yeah, other yeah, definition yeah. is one who travels. A traveler. One who travels. Yeah. So well, I just want to know from him, though. I want to, I want to hear from the horses. If you're horses horses out. No, 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 no. I love you. I don't want to debate a Christian. If you let me make the point, either definition means either he's going to say his sins are traveling, he's going to have sins that travel like Jesus did, or sins will be anointed like Jesus did. Brother Sham, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a Christian. I just want to oh. put that on the table. Okay. Let's say, right so, now. That's what but it's all good. Him. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not here to... Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Are, you, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? I'm I'm not Muslim. Hey, listen, listen. I'm I'm I I don't I don't want to talk about me. I'm just I just want to simply I just want to simply ask uh, ask the question what what yeah, Masih yeah, means in, in Arabic. Yeah, my, yeah, my my friend, the, the stream is for the Muslims to join. I thought I thought you you was a Christian. Or I'm I'm sorry, not yeah. a Christian, but a Muslim when you came up here. So. Um, I can't have too many people up here that's not that's not Muslim or Christian. Just for the just for the stream. Uh, Shamoon. Right. I'm, I'm, sure I'm not sure you remember me back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure you remember me back from back in the day, but uh, I think we I did think. we did uh, go back and forth. Yeah, I think I remember your voice, but I, I just wanted to agree with your definition, you know, because your definition means well, that. Actually, I, I respect that because even when you take my definition, literally, uh, yes. Mac John oh, go, went to test the Black Rock and his sins are Messiah. Hence, so if we translate the like word right? Messiah in any, in any language, it still means They're annoying, white. Right? So how, would you, how, would you, how would you define that? Like, how would you justify that in no, your I, situation? You, you know... Just like they told you that the word can mean to wipe. Why? Because it comes from anointing someone with oil. If you go to the Old Testament practice, people mm -hmm. are anointed by having oil smeared on them, wiped on them as a sign God anointed them. So this is why part of the word means to wipe. But since you didn't want to go with that definition, I just went with your definition. I'm just going That's with your correct. definition. And even if you go with my definition, even if, and you just said it. Yeah. Well, if, if you wipe off kiss, something, if I wipe off the snake, my sin is Messiah. Hence, okay. what does that Matt, mean to you? Answer. You want me to answer? Uh, if I wipe right. up, if that I means. wipe out a stain on my yeah. shirt, I wipe it out. A stain, is the stain gone or is it still there? Is this, if you wipe it out, of course. The if I wipe there. out a stain, I have a stain on my shirt and I wipe it out, wipe it's it off. There. It's what? It's going to be there. You are you sure? I mean, have you washed clothes? I did, but you said wipe. Have you used you the, tight, like the tight stick where you have a stain and you wipe it off and you wipe it off? And tight what happens stick? When, with the stain? Tight stick? Tied. N I'm not talking about tight stick. Are you doing drugs? Tight stick is illegal. We're talking about tied. I don't know. What is those okay, two things? Dude, see, you're, you're, you're going on tangents. 
If you have a stain on your shirt and you wipe it off, what happens when you wipe it off? The outside part, which is the liquid or whatever, it's going to be gone, but the mark will be stay there. It again, it'll be gone. The mark will be well, staying if there. If we wipe off or wipe out sins, what happens to the sins? Are they still there? Well, you mean like uh, wash the clothes and it will be like completely clean. Is that what you're saying? What happens to the sins when they're wiped out or wiped off? That's what they were trying to oh. tell you. Oh, cool. So wipe. I get so it. So what happens to those sins? That's what they were trying to tell you. How, how about you demonstrate it? I want to see. I'm not God. I can't wipe out your sins. No, no, no. Just, just bring anything, any, any stain and put you on your white shirt. Hey, uh, do you guys want to show him? Do you have a tight stick, uh, Avery? Because you can buy it at Walmart. Can you show him how <laughs> these guys laughing? You know, I mean, I don't. I be the hedge. I be the hedge. I kiss a I know. I know what he's trying to do. I know him. Like I'm just, I'm just, you know. All right, Mike. I think they made their point. Now, what was your other issue about the sword? You said something about the sword. Uh, well, how is it called? Uh, hold yeah, on, real quick. Let me give a shout out. Hold on, Mac. Hold on, Mac. Mac, hold on. I want to give a shout out to uh, Sister Elizabeth Hardy. Mac, hold on. I want to give a shout out to Sister Elizabeth Hardy. Thank you so much for your generous gift. She says, watch, watch what's happening in Iran. Islam going down the drain. Islam going down the drain. Can I ask you a question? Oh, perfect. Sam Shimon, can you define the difference between Shia and Sunni? Why should I? I don't care. Yeah, uh, that's good. That's actually a good thing because you know the Shias knows the uh, what, what what they do is uh, I think you already know. Why are you asking me about Shias? I didn't talk about Shias. Oh wow! I mean that's your region because that's where your profession is like that actually. Hence, because you always bring up the Shia attributes to Sunnis and they don't even know and they just they all kinds of men. That's you know, you want to profit. You now you left but what they're the thing is, about. Can you like so. define those Shias from Sunnis and what it does again? the Iran represent and what do you think? Why what, that's what, actually happening? What? what are you talking? What you brought up four issues. What issue is it again? Oh, sorry. I said Shia is your no, area no, no, no. of expertise. No, no, no. no. I'm and sorry. I don't you. No, no. The, we, we're talking, we're talking about we're talking about the reason why Muhammad uh, took the country back. and is not back. Cooler. back. What? Uh. We're talking about why Muhammad touched the stone, yeah. and we showed well, that it means that it, he said that it wipes your sins away, it erases your sins. Oh, he's another guy actually who can help us. Uh, so, do you do you agree with that? Okay, no, no, you, you brought it up. Thank you. And Sh Shimon knows. So, Shimon, the word yeah. touch in Arabic, what is it? No, it, it's, it's not talking about the word touch. He's talking about the word for erase. Why are you going back to touch? The Hadith said, No, he you touch your guy. Away. Your guy up here is saying, Still saying touch. Why is it he keeps he's saying touch? And what's the, the definition hadith. of oh, touch? Man, he's That's mentioning the Hadith where it says, If you touch the two corners, so he mentioned the hadith, but the hadith says Mashahuma not touch. Okay. He didn't he's Why not he talking about the part about the erase. It says if you touch, it the will erase be erased. Is after the or, huma, which is called the uh, al khataya, which is the, the mean the, that is so the part the khataya really means like forgiveness of sin. Uh, like uh, oh, like your sins will be forgiven. Your sins will be the forgiven. The sin is the uh, al khataya, and uh, the one before is that yamsah yamsah well, huma. How would you say if you? How would you say the word Yeah, this guy's not listening. Means, he, admitted uh, point. he admitted your point right now. He just admitted it's on record. Yes, if you kiss the black stone, touch it, your sins will be forgiven, which was at the point yeah, you were making from the beginning. I would love, I would love that. I would love that. Uh, I wish if you guys recorded. What happened? Did he leave again? Sorry, man. I just wanted to use his definition against him. I wanted to use definition because he was basically telling you sins become messiahs. So you have now <laughs> sins who are messiahs like Jesus. I didn't know if you caught that. That's why I didn't want him to let, it, let you let him get away with it. He said it's the same word where you get messiah from. Therefore, he's admitting there are many messiahs, like Ibn Footnote said. But this time he's arguing that it's not other humans that are messiahs, but Jesus and sins are all messiahs. So your sins become messiahs. So maybe as your sins become messiahs, they'll be there bringing you into Jannah because your sins now are anointed to save you. All right? 
Yeah. There you so go. We man. have we have Jameson saying how people give up on Jesus for a rock. I can never yeah. understand. Well, yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to catch him on his definition. So his definition was clear. Just yeah. for the record, his record definition was guys, you heard it, this recorded. You should clip this. The man admit sins become messiahs. You have sins that are messiahs. Did you hear that? No, you heard it, right? Yeah, we heard it. He and, he tripled, and he tripled down on it. That was, so that what was that means is, uh, Avery um, and all of you guys, this man believes on the day of judgment, Jesus and a host of sins will be standing there as your messiahs, anointed to save you and intercede for you. Allahu Akbar. So with that, I bid you farewell. All right, I'll see you there. And 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 no, no, that that was that was an excellent way to end it. We're we're at the end of our stream. All right, man. Thank you, Shimonian, for coming up on. Yay! Hey, hey. God bless you, guys. <laughs> God bless you, bro. Um, we're at the we're 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 approaching the two hour mark, guys. So this is where we usually end it. I I hope that you guys enjoyed the uh the stream today with the show that we got. My goodness, the characters that we had that even challenged Safra. Safraz even was on our side today, Chris calls and called. Safraz was on our side today. Safraz was calling out his Muslim brother. <laughs> oh, snap. We got somebody coming. Uh, yeah. I'm visiting Cali in two weeks. You in the park? Yep. Sunday, every Sunday from 12 to whenever we get tired. 12 p.m. noon? 12 noon to whenever we get tired. Uh, so, yeah. Come on through and help us... Uh, Help us spread the real information about Islam. <laughs> but um, yeah, my God, today this is this is amazing. Chris, what what are your thoughts on uh, any final words? I'm, I'm just saying that uh, Muslims have no idea what they're talking about when they actually speak. So maybe sometimes we just have to let them speak and let them refute themselves, as we've just seen today. And that's all I need to say. Thank you, everybody, for so much for showing up. Thank you so much, God Logic, for having me on. God bless you, or God bless you, brother. Absolutely. And so we want to end it with this. Use God's logic. Stay away from Islam. And abortion is murder. Stay prayed up. Keep praying for us. We are almost there at 10,000. Please leave a like. Share the stream. You have my permission to clip and cut however you want because there's a bunch of clips in this stream alone that... My goodness, adds so much to the highlight reel or the low light reel of Muslim arguments. Uh, thank you so much, Leah, for Christ, for the super sticker. God bless you all. And I'll see you guys on Clubhouse if you're hopping on. Be blessed. <laughs>